Good day everyone, if you're looking for a way and play the latest Bayonetta 3 into your PC, then this is the perfect video tutorial for you to watch, because in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how. So, what you need in order to play Bayonetta 3 into your PC is that you have to install a Nintendo Switch emulator. And this Nintendo Switch emulator is Ujinx emulator. The Ujinx emulator can emulate Nintendo Switch games into your PC, but in order for this UJX emulator to run, you will need to have and installed the latest Nintendo Switch firmware and keys into your PC. But before that, if you don't know where to download UJX emulator, I'm going to show you now. So just head on to your web browser and just type in UJX emulator. And then click on the first result because this is their official website, UJX.org, and then click on download. And then you can download on which system you are. If you're using Linux, then you can download it here. And if you are in Windows, just download here. So since I have already installed and have Ryujin emulator set up in my PC, I'm just going to skip this step. So I'm going to minimize the window and then go back to Ryujin simulator. So as I have said, uh, when you have uh, run Ryujin emulator first, you will be met with some errors because you will need to have to install some files in order for Ryujinx emulator to run perfectly well into your PC. Um, but before that, I'm just going to tell you guys that in order to run Ryujinx emulator 2, you will need to have a decent um, PC setup, at least a, a good CPU, which is great in single-threaded operations, and then uh, uh, an 8 gigs of RAM, uh, that is the minimum requirement and 8 gigs of RAM, and then a decent uh, graphics card, which has an OpenGL and Vulkan. Okay, so that's what you need. Uh, so if you have a, a mid-range or a, a high-end PC, then you will not have some problems in running the game because you have the minimum or higher specs in order to do that. So now, I'm going to show you now in Ryujing Simulator, okay, on the files that you need in order for it to run and detect your Nintendo Switch games. So what you need is the latest Switch firmware, which is version 4.1.2, and then the keys 4.1.2 updated. So these are the files that you need. So in order to install them into your Ryujinx emulator, go to Ryujinx, then file, then open Ryujinx folder, then head on system, and then in the prod keys. So you will just open this key here, and then just copy and paste it there. Place the file destination, then close the folder. Then the next step is that you will need to install the latest firmware, switch firmware. It's okay. So head onto tools, install firmware, then install uh, firmware from XEI or zip. So just gonna hit on that, desktop, then firmware. And then it will install firmware 4.1.2. Then click yes, installing firmware. So that that's just how you all you need to do in order for it to install the latest firmware into your Ryujin simulator. Just hit OK, and then uh, it will detect all your installed Nintendo Switch games. So in order for you to play Bayonetta 3, you will need to have the latest Bayonetta 3 XEI file installed here and put it into your XEI or Nintendo Switch games folder. You can put it anywhere in your PC. So now let's go to options. I'm gonna show you my settings in Ryuji's Game Builder. So in general tab, just check on this and then your game in directories where you put your Nintendo Switch game folders. And then to input, I have enabled dock mode, then configure, you can also have a direct keyboard access and here in configure I'm just gonna set it to all keyboards if I have put my uh, Nintendo Switch Pro controller it will be detected here you can also use your Xbox or PS3 controllers or PS4 controllers it will be detected here so I'm just gonna close on that then into system uh, system region will be US language will be English uh, UTC time enable vSync enable pptc volume is 100% audio back and open al 
then click on host and check and then into the graphics tab just graphics backend multi-threading will be on graphics backend it will be vulcan or OpenGL depending on the game because some games run well with OpenGL and some games run well with Vulkan. Here, preferred GPU would be my graphics card which is the RTX 2070 Super. And then enhancements, I'm just gonna enable shader cache. So if you have uh, copied it, you can download shader cache from players who have uh, loaded uh, all the shader cache in game, then you can do that. So you can run the game smoothly. Then in my resolution scale, since I have a 440p monitor, I set it up that that way. But if you have a uh, lower, then you can set it up to its native scale with 720p or 1080p. Uh, Anti-isotropic filtering will be auto, then aspect ratio would be 16.9. And then just hit apply. And once you have done all this, you can now play Bayonetta 3 into your PC. I will not play the game here right now because it will have some uh, issues with Nintendo and YouTube and it will have a copyright issue and then this video tutorial will be taken down. So I will not be showing you some gameplay here. So if you have some questions and regarding on how to install or if you have issues in running the game or if you want to know the settings on, Bayone on my Ryu Jinx in order to run Bayonetta free, then just leave a comment in the comment section below this video because I'll try my best to answer all of them. And I think that's all. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.